Hello, this is Dwayne, and I am so glad to be back with you again on today. Well, today we're going to talk about what's going on in this market. We're seeing some special things happen today. And yes, there was a trigger. And we're going to talk about what that trigger is and what you need to do considering what we've just heard. Well, I want you to do me a favor real quick. Subscribe to this channel. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I'm putting up more great content like this every single solitary day. Now, let's get to what's going on in this market and what you should do. Let's get after it. Well, like I said today, we're going to talk about what's going on in this market and what you need to do first of all let me just show you this heat map just to show you where we're at right now i'm recording this at uh, about 10 30 eastern standard time in the morning on monday market just opened up a little bit like an hour ago but we are seeing a red out and i've told you before the brighter the red the bigger the fall so in technology all across the board in technology we're seeing very bright red. Um, it's The rest of the market is being dragged as well because of it. But again, in the technology area, it's just a total bright red out. Uh, and that's just not good. Now, what is causing this? Let's read a little bit here. Stocks lit Monday with technology. Stocks under renewed pressure as investors anticipated higher interest rates this year and look ahead to several economic data earnings reports later this week now what i really want to talk about is this the move higher in yields and volatility across u.s equities came after the release of the federal reserves december meeting minutes mid last week these suggested some central bank officials were eyeing a quicker start to interest rate hikes and balance sheet runoff process than many market participants had expected. Goldman Sachs economists now predict the Fed will raise interest rates four times this year or one more than the firm previously expected and that the central bank's balance sheet reduction will begin in July or earlier. This is creating a major problem in the markets again because the market was trying to bake in three interest rate hikes then we got the news last week that they're going to also sell off these bonds now we're getting the news that it'll be four interest rate hikes which is going to affect technology growth stocks tremendously and on a day like today it's just crushing the market as a whole and so one of the things that you recognize, the, the thing that gives me the ability to know how to manage my portfolio is understanding what's impacting it. Many times what happens is that people uh, see some action happening in their portfolio and they rush to say, well, I, I've got to get out of this. Well, it's always important to understand what's impacting my portfolio on any given day now i've got stock uh, as a matter of fact uh i'm going to show you that uh they're not doing what i would like for them to do uh if we look here at apple one of my um strongholds well it's down 2.18 percent today three dollars and 75 cents so if i was an uninformed investor and saw this i might just say oh my goodness i gotta get out of there uh because man it's getting killed and and i'm gonna lose my money uh look at microsoft is down 2.35 percent um my other uh i have my etf uh it's down 1.77 percent so if you look at it uh things are getting crushed today okay now i want you to understand something i recently did a video on being in the market for the 10 best days a year the 10 best days in five years the 10 best days over a 10-year period see when you miss the 10 best days you could decrease your uh income in your portfolio by 50 percent so the key is not getting in and out the key is having the right 
stocks from the gate. And me personally, I know I have some technology stocks. I even have a technology ETF. And so in a season where we're talking about interest rates going up, I'm expecting some choppiness. But I've been on many airplanes and there's many times where the pilot will come on and he'll say, we're getting ready to run into some turbulence. They tell you to sit down, f put your seat belts on, uh, lift your trays up. Sometimes if the turbulence is going to be pretty bad, they might even go to that extent and you, you come to the turbulence and the plane is shaking. And, but you've had a prior warning that we're passing through some turbulence. So when they announce turbulence, you don't jump out the plane. Give me my parachute. I'm out of here. No, no, no. You understand that this is a part of flying 35,000 feet in the air. This can happen. And since it can happen, the airplane has been built to sustain the turbulence. It's been built to handle the wind shifts and things that will happen. And we've got experienced pilots and we've got experienced stewardesses who know how to help us get through the turbulence. Well, that's kind of what I'm saying today. Yes, we are hitting turbulence. And we just found out that we're going from three to four interest rate increases possibly this year. And the wind has picked up a, a little bit more and it's shaking the market. And it's more likely going to be a red day. And it may have effect tomorrow. And it may still have an effect on Wednesday. We don't know. But here's what we do know. We're in a solid airplane. When you're in companies that you know are going to do well, you do not go crazy because something is shaking the plane. You ride it out knowing that what you've done is a wise move to make. In and out of the market is not the way to win this market. The way you win is you pick great companies and you keep dollar cost averaging into them and you keep allowing yourself to be positioned when you hit those 10 best days in that year, you've got the plays you need. They may go up 2%, 3% in that one day. And you're going to make up for all the other ups and downs, the bumps, the wins and stuff that went on. 2022 is going to have 10 great days. And if you are where you need to be, positioned properly, you're going to be okay. Do not overreact to the turbulence. Well, I hope you got something out of this and I hope you will allow yourself to win in 2022, 2023 and beyond because that's what we're doing here on this channel. We're going to help 30 million people build, live and sustain wealth. And this channel is one of the ways we're getting it done. Well, leave me a comment, like this video, please subscribe to this channel. Help me with this algorithm. We're trying to navigate through this YouTube maze I mean, it's not an easy maze to figure out. But we're trying to navigate through it and we're excited about the opportunity to help people in this area. Well, I look forward to talking to you again real soon. Be blessed. Have an absolutely great day.